This is our field shelter for the two ponies. Uh, looking a bit battered and bruised. That's because of the last storm, R1 I think it was. Uh, the shelter landed somewhere over there. Basically because I'd had inadequate uh, strapping, anchoring it to the ground. So what I've done is used Big Ben ground anchors underneath our six inch of limestone in the muck. Uh, put the ground anchor in and then I've strapped it with a, uh, a ratchet strap through to an eye bolt and hook on the side of the building. So I've done that side and I'm just doing this side now. So from the inside I've got a just a 4x2 screwed to the inside of the timbers on the inside. And I've got an eye bolt with washers both sides. And then you can see there I've got the bolt coming through the building at this side. So then I've exposed uh, the muck underneath our six inch lime. We've got membrane down there somewhere. And all I need to do is give that a bit of a tap with a hammer and then screw it in. I've got the 500 mil uh, anchors and I'm just using a bar now. In. Okay, so that's as deep as I can get it. So now I'm just going to attach the ratchet strap here, here, and then backfill the limestone. Okay, there's the ratchet strap on one end and the other and now I can basically as the heavy winds come in or go away and we have nice weather I can tighten this up and personally that is not going anywhere and uh, times four one on each corner that's much better anchoring for my field shelter for the horses mm -hmm. so they are the Big Ben ground anchors I went for the 500 I think you can get maybe 600 and 900 but that's more than plenty for me and they're so good I'm gonna go for some for the climbing frame and trampoline next <laughs> 